Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a nice and rough photocopy effect. It gives you the perfect 90s punk or rave flyer aesthetic. So let's go. It's really simple. We are starting with some text and a white background. Now select the text and go to Live Filters. Here you choose Displace. In the filter window, click on Load Map from File. Choose a noisy photocopy texture. You can find this texture set for free download in the description. Now the text already got some rough edges. You can increase the roughness with the strength slider. About 24 pixels looks fine for now. Now we put the same or another Xerox texture on top of it. And set the blend mode to difference. Now we got some basic grain, let's put another texture on top of it. Just play around with it. Same here, blend mode difference. You can try other blend modes if you like. But let's keep it simple. Now this looks a bit dark to me. Let's adjust the levels of the texture. Oh, it needs to be applied on just the one layer. This looks fine. Now let's add some graphic elements. You can do this with whatever vector graphics you like. Center it. All right. For some reason, the displacement map won't apply on a contour. To fix this, just drop the shape in a group. Now you can copy the displace filter. Paste it up here and drop it on the group. To make the text look even more grungy, we can make it bleed a little. This creates the typical 90s look. Navel Brody, who had a major influence on the style of the 90s, used this effect, for example, to create typefaces such as FF Blur. Now the font name already anticipates it. We need to add some blur to the text, like so. You can adjust this later if you like, thanks to live filters. Now we need to add a threshold. This makes the edges sharp again. Not too much. Now you see, there is no displacement anymore. This is because the displacement needs to be on top of the blur effect. If you like to add some color, you can simply change the background color. But I prefer adding a gradient map on top. The black should stay black. We don't need no third color. And this let's make it purple or whatever. So like I said, this is just the basic technique. Just play around with it. Add graphics and textures, nothing needs to be aligned perfectly. The rougher the better.